Oh. What's happening everybody, Mark's Treasures here. How's everybody doing today? So in this video we are going to be looking at a new edition, a special new edition. I've had one of these before, but it didn't last very long. Uh, it's actually well known that these in captivity don't last very long. Uh, the last one I had lasted about three weeks. I have been talking to some people they have been successfully kept in captivity for a couple of years as well so it's not like they've got a short lifespan so what I am talking about is a solid fugi or commonly known as the camel spider or commonly known as the wind scorpion or sun spider they've got a lot of um, common names but they're not a spider and they're not a scorpion they're in their own class so, we won't be unboxing it because it's already been done. A couple of long stories short, I couldn't be at home for when the box arrives. So thank you to the missus. She was home to receive the box and not only that, she unboxed it herself and placed, placed it into the enclosure. So big shout out for Sandra for that one. To my surprise, she even recorded an unboxing. So we're gonna go and check that out now. Um, yeah, this is the unboxing of the Cabal Spider from Sidra. Okay, so here goes my very, very first unboxing video. Feeling a little bit nervous, not really knowing what to expect. Let me jump. Okay, so that I believe is it done. That seems quite fast, so I'm gonna pop the lid on straight away. Phew, first unboxing done. <laughs> yeah, so that was awesome. Thank you again for that. Yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have a look in the enclosure, see how she's getting on or she he i'm not quite sure what it is so uh but yeah let's take a look and see see how it's getting on all right guys so this is the enclosure right here so i've been getting a couple of tips off of people who have actually um successfully kept these and so what we've got here we've got deep substrate uh we've got multiple hides see what you don't want when it comes to camel spiders is one pace around during the day so as you can see here, it is nowhere to be seen, which is a good sign. Uh, camel spiders can literally run themselves to death. So what we're going to do, I don't want to disturb her. What we're going to do, we're going to come back tonight and hopefully she'll be out and about. And uh, that's where I'll continue this video. Um, like I say, I don't want to disturb her now. Because the, these guys don't do well when it comes to stress. So... Um, if you, during the day, if you don't see a camel spider, that's a good sign. We'll be back later on. Hello uh, guys, back again. So it's about 11 o'clock at night now. Um, and finally she's starting to roam around the enclosure. Uh, yes, this is exactly what we want. So during the day, if your camel spider is roaming around, it means it's stressed out. So she's been hiding in her hides all day. And like I say, about 11 o'clock, switched well about 10 o'clock I switched all the lights off of the tea room and it's now about 11 o'clock and she's uh roaming around again now she's gone back in since his lights on um but what i've also been doing i'm going to be taking her out of the trench the room during the night that room holds heat quite uh, quite well and these also like uh, the temperatures to be dropped at night uh, in the deserts at night it can get up to like minus four so I'm taking it out of the tea room 
Uh, I'm gonna probably put it in the bathroom. It gets quite cool in there. So yeah, let's have a closer look at her, shall we? Okay guys, so I've got the, spy, uh, the camel spider out. The only reason why I'm holding it is to show you guys that these aren't aggressive animals that want to eat your stomach out and God knows what other stories uh, what are out there. Completely harmless. Very active at the moment. Very fast as well. But yeah, he's just not interested in biting me or anything like that. Never judge a book by its cover and never believe stories that you hear. Interesting thing about these is uh, them long leg-like things at the front. They're actually uh, feelers. Oh. And uh, at the end of each feeler, there's like a suction pad. And what they're for is when they're trying to catch their prey, the suction pad literally sticks onto the prey and it brings it into its jaws, these big mandibles, which they then they chew it up to a mush. Non-venomous. So it's getting very active now. So because he's getting quite fast, so I don't want to risk hurting him by dropping him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place him back in enclosure. But yeah, just to show you. You can't handle them. Okay, let's put him back into the enclosure now. Go on, mate. So yeah, as you can see, um... It's a big tub she's in, very big tub. It's actually got a lot of uh, sand in it. You probably can't see from this angle, but she's got a lot of sand in there. Multiple hides. She's dug all that out inside there, and she fills the uh, holes up again. And she tends to hang it, hang out there in the day. And then all she does at night is literally, as you can see there, roaming around. Um, yeah, so like I said before, they like it cooler at night so I'm going to take out the tea room uh, as far as water goes I've been told to literally spray the sand in the evening times and what they do when they start moving the sand around with their big jaws so, so they get the moisture as well as the food as well I think the light is uh, disturbing her she's gone hiding again yeah they don't like the light these guys they hate light which is another story where you hear them apparently chasing after people. All they're doing is trying to get into the shadow. These guys can be very easily overfed as well. I think that's another mistake that we tend to make as keepers. Overfeeding these guys to the point where they get so fat, they just die. As you can see, the abdomen is actually very plump at the moment. It literally doesn't stop moving. So obviously wants to get out of the light. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it be now, but I will get some footage of her and I'll uh, I'll update you definitely in the future. So yeah, that is my camel spider. Yeah, so there you are guys. So I think last time I've done all the mistakes of a of a first time keeper, probably a like the water bowl in there, apparently I don't drink from water. They drink from the moisture of the sand and they get the moisture from the food. I have fed mine as well. It's because it's so cool to watch to eat. It's just constant, they will constantly eat. Um, and I remember my one always pacing around during the day. I just thought it was very active, but no, nah, it was stressed. So yeah, it's in a much bigger tub now. Don't see it during the day. So yeah, it's all good. But yeah, like I said, I will keep you updated with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.